Oops, did you hear that? Bang on the bottom. I'm not going up there, I don't think. So it looks like people have, but go this way. Oh, shit. Two hands on the wheel, I think. And good morning. Well, I can't really tell you where I am because it's a secret. It's about 8.30 a.m. in the morning. It's uh, early for me. I've got about a, uh, well, they said a 45 minute drive each way to go to a secret waterhole. Well, secret springs, but it's, um, I don't know that it's really a secret anymore. The, the road in here is not signposted, but it's a, it looks like a well-formed road at the moment. A few people have told me, don't bother going in. You'll just wreck your vehicle and there's much nicer places elsewhere. So, but I want to do it anyway cause, <laughs> because it's a secret. And um, yeah, just to say I've done it and if I don't do it, I won't know. So I'm just going to take it easy. Uh, as I say, it take, it's about 45 minutes each way, they reckon. I don't expect I'll see any oncoming traffic at this hour of the morning. Got my bathers in the back. Hopefully I'll get some good footage and some photos and um, we'll leave a description below on how to find this secret springs. Anyway, wish me luck. Cheers. Well, number one, looks like I should be on the right road. Four wheel drive only, no camping, no fires. But good place to take photos, I reckon. So let's go. I've only been going about five minutes and I've come across a, a picnic table, barbecue, big barb tree, parking spots. It hasn't been too bad so far. Nothing worse than I've been on before, so. Okay, so six minutes in and the track's getting a bit, yeah, a bit sandy there, a bit gnarly, so anyway getting of the rough stuff maybe. Spoke too soon one minute ago. So progress report, I've actually put my car in low range after going over a few big rocks down there. Probably doesn't look much in the video but um, yeah just crawled over a few big rocks and decided um, time to put it in low range. Feeling fairly deep there. Got through okay, low range. It's about crossing number five, I think. Oh, there's a few car parts along the way. TJ and that one. There's a uh, quite a few creek crossings. Maybe I will walk this one just to uh, get my feet wet. It's looking a bit murky on the bottom here. Yeah, not a not deeper than my knees so far. And it's um, you can see in the centre here, it's not so deep, but you know that be should be easy enough. Bit of a drop down in here. So just picking the line. Oh, I'll just aim sort of for the middle of this. That was actually easier than uh, most of the others. Uh, first one I've walked through and um, they're probably the easiest one to get through. I'll continue on. As you can see, it's a fellow narrow, narrow track and uh, meeting someone the other way, there's places to pull over, but onwards. It does get um, fairly tight in places and the track is 
quite sandy as well in other spots. So it's just a matter of taking it easy. It's just a little dip here, a little creek crossing. Nothing uh, much, but yeah, oh, look down there. It's pretty nice, isn't it? <laughs> Someone did say something about the last creek crossing being fairly deep, so I'm wondering if this is it. There's definitely some um, boulders there that have been causing some grief. I'm happy I've got my under underbody protection because it has um, been used. So I'm reckoning this is the one I've seen on a, a YouTube video and there's some big boulders in there, just for sure. Yeah, someone asked about going through here without a snorkel. Um, it's no deeper, well, okay, it is just over my knees now. Well, when I've got to pull my shorts up, it's um, fairly deep on this side. Yeah, probably a good thing I've got a snorkel on and it'll be one of the deeper little crossings I've been over. Been a bit of damage on this tree by the looks with uh, people eating it. And uh, yeah, it's not too wide there, that's for sure. The exit looks okay. Probably is good to walk this before I drove through. Just to see the obstacles. Don't come through here if you don't want scratches on your vehicle because it's going to happen. There's some sections that um, maybe with the troopy or whatever you'd be just about hitting your roof, scraping your roof on some of the branches, but this is up to the bottom of my shorts coming through here. So, so I'm about to hit this. Uh, I think it's the last water crossing and it is a, um, quite a doozy. Um, if you're an experienced four-wheel driver, it's yeah, probably like a Sunday drive out here, but uh, you need to have your vehicle set up for it. I've got a winch, I've got you know, recovery tracks, but not that that would be my problem. I think I'd be getting the car damaged yeah, there's a chance that might happen and I'm hoping I should get through this okay. I'll try filming it, but if I drop the camera in a hurry, you know, it's two hands on the wheel. Um, I'll just take it slow, well and truly halfway up my thighs on there, so it's uh, getting fairly deep for me. I've just got my regular tyres on here, which I've let down, which probably a good idea. Probably a good idea too if you travel with someone else if you can, just in case you do encounter problems and... Um, Someone could be standing on the other side filming you coming through here. So, anyway, wish me luck. Don't you hate it when you think you're filming going through that creek crossing and you forget to press record? Bugger, I better, better do it on the way back. Shit. As soon as I forgot to press record on the last one, <laughs> I'll try again. And this, um, I thought the last one was the deep one, but um, maybe, maybe this is it. I'm thinking like... Uh, bumpy bumpy. It is a bit longer this one. And we're getting deep here, I'll tell you. Oh, she's... I think that was a bit, I think that was a bit deeper than the, uh, the previous one, actually. So, I got through that okay. I don't think it's too far to go. When they said 45 minutes in here, I think um, it's going to be an hour for me, but that's including, you know, stops to take photos and stuff, so should be nearly there, I reckon. Well, I made it into Secret Springs, and um, as far as I can see so far, oh, no damage. But I'll tell you what, if you had a bigger vehicle, Silverado or something, you'd be um, scratching your sides all the way, I reckon. There's a few trees that um, 
I thought I was lucky to get past. You can see they've got damage from previous vehicles hitting them. So if you want to come in here, just be aware you might end up with a few scratches down your car and yeah, I'd say do it with someone else if you can. Let's go and have a look at this pool. Got my bathers on and my towel, so it might be my first swim in, well, since I've been away, actually. Oh, wow, oh, that looks nice. Oh, there you go, there's the secret pool. And how's that? I've got this to myself at the moment. I'm thinking it's pretty nice. I'll uh, leave my towel and stuff here, I think, and go for a bit of a look up further. It took me an hour to drive here with stops to take photos and video. But was it worth coming in? I think, hell yes. The Secret Springs. Yes, it is a kind of a track up this side of this cliff here. Need to be a bit of a mountain goat. And... Um, Probably why you shouldn't be doing this stuff by yourself. Just, be definitely a good chance of uh, twisting an ankle or something up here. Well worth it. There's a little, another little waterfall over there. Cool. How cool is that? Uh, maybe I should put my towel up here. Nice. Uh, to me, this place is magical. Like. How cool is this? It's so worth the drive in. People who say, don't do it, you'll wreck your car and it's not worth it. I don't think they've been up to this little spot up here above the uh, secret pool. There's a little waterfall there. I know if you've been to Litchfield and that's probably, uh, yeah, that's okay, but I think it's pretty special. And the deep hole. I reckon you can jump off here easily. Not going to do by myself. Uh, responsibility. <laughs> Got to get home. When they said it's slippery in here, yeah, take heed, it is very slippery. Uh, first step on the water and I nearly went ass over to it. So, uh, yeah, just take it easy in the water. Ah, there is a rope. Where does the rope go? Around that tree? Oh, okay. Ah. Yeah, they just say something about a rope so you can um, climb up the waterfall. Yeah, I might go back the way I came. swim on the trip. Not a place to do it. It is very slippery on the bottom so I don't know if the beach shoes would help a bit. But yeah, just be careful on the rocks. Uh, I think I've been at the Secret Springs for uh, probably an hour and a half having a look around. Uh, it's time to get in the beast and make tracks out and I'll do a video of that last crossing that's the deepest one and um, give you a bit of an idea how deep it is. I'll just uh, hit record this time. Uh, this one's sort of up to the top of the wheels. So I'll just go slow driving, especially driving one hand. I'm not uh, getting a bow wave or anything, but um, go around the corner. No one coming the other way, thankfully. I guess if there's rain, uh, wet season and rain, yep, yeah, it's going to be deeper and it might be up over your bonnet. Um, but yeah, got through there all right. There's a bit of a parking spot up there, a turnaround spot for those who don't want to go through. Back onto the sandy stuff. Yeah, if you're coming in here, enjoy, take it slow, and you'll be right. Oh, Secret Springs done and dusted. Yeah, definitely worth going in. If you've never been forward driving before, I'd, you know, at least go with someone else. There are a few um, 
tight sections and um, yeah, I guess the water can get quite deep. Yeah, don't expect to come out with your car as pristine as it went in. You're going to be scratching your sides and um, there is a few rough sections, a few sandy sections, a few rocky sections. So just take it slow. I think it, um, yeah, it took me about 45 minutes to get out. Uh, on the way in I lo used low range a lot more than I did on the way out. Uh, yeah, just yeah, take it easy. Enjoy. Definitely worth doing. Cheers.